Hello and welcome to your introduction to Kundalini Yoga, which you can find information on the history of Kundalini Yoga a little bit in the manual, and I'm just going to give a little talk and discussion on my perspective on why Kundalini is useful in our lives, and what we tend to use it for in our practice in, the, in Soul Ascension, as, a, as well as to guide you through one of the exercises or Kriyas of the Kundalini Yoga, which is often referred to as the Everything Kriya, called Sat Kriya. So in Kundalini Yoga, we're really working on accessing the creative life force potential in the base of the spine and in the base of the pelvis where the perineum sits, where we activate Mula Bandha or the root lock. And it's really important to begin with sitting in a comfortable way so that the knees can open, the hips can open, and often to sit on a block or a bolster or something to raise the hips slightly to find that seat, to also become very tall and open in the spine. It can be useful to take some time to just move a little bit and open the spine before working with a Kriya or doing a Kundalini exercise or set of exercises. Kundalini is really useful for opening the third eye and accessing the intuition as part of the practices to tune into the teachers that have come before along the path of the Kundalini Yoga practice, including all of the masters of the practice and of different practices of yoga called the Golden Chain of Kundalini. This energy or the life force potential of the Shakti essence or the Divine Feminine is what sits in the sacral chakra Svadhisthana and rises through our intention of igniting the fire within by accessing the masculine energy of the Shiva force or of Pingala, the masculine nadi in the, in the body that crosses across Shashumna, the spine, with Ida, the Shakti force, across the spine. These are two of the major nadis in the body out of many, including the Shashumna, the central channel, which contains the life force of the Kundalini and can bring it up through certain movements, mantras, and exercise sets that help us to focus the energy upward through the body. So it's important also to consider an intention and always to tune in to the Kundalini energy or to the golden chain of Kundalini with a simple mantra which is Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. We always tune in to the Kundalini energy or the golden chain of Kundalini with this mantra, which is a mantra that connects us to the infinite wisdom of the golden chain of the teachers that have come before, the primal wisdom within or the creative wisdom within ourselves. And this is a mantra that calls to this energy of the Divine Teacher to come through us, the name of the Divine Teacher to come through us in the practice and to guide us through the practice. We also tune out in Kundalini with a mantra called Sat Nam, which we'll repeat at the end of the practice, as well as through the Kriya that we'll be working with, which is the Sat Kriya, using this mantra Sat Nam, which is the truth is my name. So we'll first start, and you can listen now and sing the mantra after on your own, or you can sing along after the first. And we'll sing this mantra three times together. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, calling to the divine wisdom within, the primal wisdom within, the creative wisdom, or the divine teacher, and the golden chain of the kundalini energy. So finding that comfortable seat and the tall spine, inhaling the arms up, Bringing them down to your heart center. Closing the eyes and looking up and out the third eye as best as you can, or just allowing the eyes to relax. And taking a deep breath. Releasing anything that is no longer serving, releasing anything that is causing you stress or thoughts that are keeping you out of presence. And just really sinking into presence with yourself and with the wisdom within your own heart, your own soul. Taking another deep inhale. And envisioning this energy of the Kundalini rising up the spinal column of the Ida, the Divine Feminine, and the Pingala, the Divine Masculine. Wrapping around the Shashumna, the central column of the spine and activating this creative energy, this creative life force potential within your body, within your mind, and within your spirit. Taking a deep inhale to sing the mantra Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo
So taking this energy in and just placing the hands down on the knees for a moment and just moving front and back, opening up the spine. In Kundalini it's not traditional to warm up too much so we'll move into the exercise fairly quickly and maybe move a little bit side to side and start to feel into the belly or the belly lock, the Udhyana Bandha, pulling the belly button into the spine and feel how that feels. Inhale and then relax the belly down. You can stay in this seat if you feel like it's more easeful on your knees or on your thighs, ankles. Otherwise, coming into a thunderbolt pose or a hero pose and finding a tall seat and a tall spine, perhaps sitting partially on a block or finding something to roll under the heels if this feels uncomfortable for the knees. And you're also welcome to continue seated in Sukhasana. This meditation contains a movement of the belly, a movement of the breath, and a mantra. And it is important to consider an intention when working with this uh, Kriya, this exercise set, because this is working with the lower three chakras, which can contain energies of trauma or energies of relationship, of family drama, of uh, miscreativity or of sexual power problems, of sexual energy blockages, and as well as feeling secure or insecure in life. So to consider an intention before working with this energy is helpful and to know that the mantra we'll be saying, Sat Nam, means the truth is my name or the truth is my identity. So this helps us to integrate the truth of our beings or the true self within to our bodies and within to our lives. When we take this process of integrating the true self through using this Kriya, we can really access the inner wisdom a little bit more easily when we take the time in silence after practicing this Kriya. Normally it is practiced for 11 minutes altogether, but today we'll practice this meditation for 3 minutes. And the movements are including that Uddiyana Bandha, the belly pumping, pulling the belly all the way in, and then relaxing it completely. The whole time the shoulders will be rolled back and down along the spine, and the arms will be up in the air together with the hands clasped, heels of the hands together, and for men, right thumb over left, for women, left thumb over right, with the index thumb pointing up to the sky in Temple Mudra. Throughout this exercise, to keep your long, tall spine is very important, and to focus up and out the third eye if possible for you. When you breathe in your first inhale, really fill the body with energy, with air, with prana, and release everything out taking another inhale and then on the pumping of the belly in you will say sat sat and then release nam sat 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 Nam, sat, 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 nam. Sat Nam 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 Sat 
नाम सत नाम सत नाम सत नाम सत नाम सत नाम सत नाम कीपिंग द शोल्डर्स बैक एंड डाउन ऑन द बॉडी कीपिंग द स्पाइन स्ट्रेट letting the breath regulate itself and just relaxing in allowing yourself to rest if you really need to but pulling through at least the first 3 minutes and doing your best after watching and taking some time to start this practice for 11 minutes a day if you feel ready or for 3 minutes a day to start with sat nam sat nam taking a deep inhale and a big sigh another deep inhale and very slowly lowering the hands down in front drawing the energy forwards and down into the earth releasing the shoulders back and down on the body planting the hands down and taking your time to slowly move either into a comfortable seated position for some time in silence or a small shavasana for 1 to 3 minutes. If you practice this meditation for 3 for 3 minutes, 1 minute shavasana is long enough. If for 11 minutes, take a shavasana for 3 minutes or longer depending on how you feel. At this time at the end of your meditation, it is important to take a moment to tune out of the kundalini energy or out of the golden chain and to release the energies that have moved through your body and to integrate what is needed. So after you've finished your rest or your meditation and taken some time in shavasana, then you can close your practice by tuning out with sat nam. This can also be integrated into a sequence of any form of yoga or to be practiced in line with other kundalini kriyas in a full kundalini class. So taking a deep inhale and a big breath out. we'll tune out with sat na three times inhaling sat na sat na sat Thank you for watching this practice today and guiding yourself through Sat Kriya, learning the introduction to Kundalini. Please review your section or send us any questions. Have a beautiful day.